Hello beautiful flowers and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Michela. I'm a cash stuffer and budgeter here on YouTube. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. So today's video is exciting. It's the first of its kind. We are gonna be cash stuffing my month ahead binder. So without any delay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have a month ahead binder and what this is, is I am working to get one month ahead on all of my bills. So bills and regular expenses. Um, so I have divided out all of our major ca spending categories into these envelopes and um, I'm gonna be stuffing them whenever I reach a certain milestone for saving for this challenge. So um, I have a month ahead envelope in my savings binder here and that's the envelope I stuff every week however when we reach a certain amount which happens to be 353 um, and I got that number uh, from basically adding up everything that I you know all the totals of what it would take for me to have one month ahead and I divided that by 10 I believe and so that ended up being $353 so every time I hit 353 which I have off to my right here I'm going to be stuffing this binder and just kind of translating it over just to give myself like a little boost saying like hey you're making progress <laughs> so I do have $353 here let's just double check so we have 51 150 170 190 210, 230, 250, 270, 280, 290, 300, 310, 320, 330, 340, 350, 1, 2, and 3. So I'm going to go ahead and set this out. I don't have any specific amounts planned for any specific envelopes. We are just going to be stuffing whatever we feel as we come across each envelope. So we have our mortgage envelope, utilities yearly subscriptions, monthly subscriptions, car insurance, groceries, gas, dining out, and spending. So there's a lot to fill here, so not very much is gonna be able to go in each one, but let's start off with our mortgage. Let's start off strong. We're gonna do $50 into this. And it's the first time I'm stuffing this binder, like I said, so there's currently nothing in any of these. So this should be a fairly quick cash stuffing. So we're gonna put 50 into there. I'm gonna try and get this a little more straightened out so it's easier to lay flat. Okay, next up we have utilities. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do 30 into utilities. Let's do that. And I love, I made all of these envelopes, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> they look very homemade. Um, and they're all from like vintage gift wrap. So like I was on Etsy and I was looking around for like, I don't know, I was just perusing and I saw this vintage like gift wrap and I was like this is really cool and so I bought it all right yearly subscriptions let's go ahead and do 20 into this I'm gonna do two tens I have a lot of envelopes so I'm trying to spread it out as <laughs> as evenly ish as I can so 20 into yearly monthly subscriptions let's just do a 10 into this um I do have goals for each of these which i actually should print off or at least write down because when i was budgeting out how much i needed for each category i you know i don't want to like end up with like 500 in monthly subscriptions <laughs> you know this has a limit on how much i need each month for subscriptions and i did figure that out but i just don't have it nearby so i think we're safe for now um as far as like saving up so all right so car insurance we're gonna do 50 and car insurance I pay every six months, but what we're doing is we're saving up a, we're saving up six months of car insurance basically because I only pay that twice a year. So car insurance is a little different. It is called a month ahead challenge, but car insurance, we're gonna be six months ahead. We want one of our premium payments ready to go. All right, groceries. Let's go ahead and do 40 into groceries. I think this one's my favorite because I love all of these. They look kind of like games or something. Like, I don't know. So 40 into there. Gas, let's go ahead and do, I have a lot left over, so I might be adding more. Let's do 30 to gas. I might have to go back and add more to each of these because I have a lot left over. 
dining out. We'll do a 50. <laughs> Just get that done. I think I said like $100 for dining out. I'm not sure. And spending, we'll do a 20. And this is my spending and Zach's spending all together in one envelope. All right, so what do we have? We have 20, a bunch of 10s, and all of our ones. So let's flip back. Let's go ahead and add some more to mortgage. Let's add another 20, because that's gonna be one of our biggest categories is mortgage. So now we have 70 in there. Let's go ahead and add another 20 to utilities. So now we're gonna have 50 in there. And then I think let's add the rest to car insurance. So that's 13, because that's another really big category. So now we have 63 in car insurance. Awesome. So that is our very first month ahead binder cash stuffing. So once we get another $353 in our month ahead envelope in my savings binder, we will go ahead and do another quick video stuffing this guy here. So that is all I have for you today. If you have any questions about month ahead or any specifics about it, let me know. I'd be happy to help answer some of those. It's the first time I'm ever planning or ever budgeting for month ahead and I've seen lots of other budgeters do it, but hopefully we can reach our goal within a reasonable time. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I have. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.